beginning, he was a thought without form or substance. Around this thought, a membrane formed in a space where the thought could find nourishment. He is older than everything, older than the world, older than himself. He is rooted in his primordial state. He is in the midst of all life and yet outside and apart. His one idea, spiralized in the core, is simple, easy to understand and therefore infinitely important. It is the base of the very smallest form of life. In his haunts he is noticeable as a faint smell of ammonia. He loves everything that is small and fears our greatness. He doubts whether humans exist. It could be superstition, a mythical relic of the ancient gods' tales by the celestial campfire. He sees his reflection in the air and he sees himself as he is, a tiny creature among myriads of tiny things in the universe. He dreams of constructing a simple little soul for solitary cells. This is beyond his capacity, and in his impotence, he seeks refuge among the microbes. We cannot find him there with our immense microscopes. Faces new. The weary old god gathers his last strength and starts over again. 